Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Friday, the 5th of February, 2021. And we're publishing the ninth episode in our Bitcoin vs. Gold and Silver series, normally published every Sunday, but delayed this week due to the Reddit Robin Hood renegade attack on silver, which just simply had to be reported. Now, in today's episode, we're continuing with that theme in one sense and ask, can Bitcoin be either the next target or a target of this renegade gang very shortly, just as silver has been this past week? Well, let's take a look. Now, before we take a look as to whether Bitcoin could be the next target of Reddit Renegade, just a quick summary of the first eight episodes in this series. In episode one, we explained why we launched this series and why people found Bitcoin attractive. In episode two, we confirmed that the equity market's worth approximately then $85 trillion, the tradable gold market $1.5 trillion, and what we call the tradable silver market just $60 billion. Since the series began, two months ago now, the market capitalization of Bitcoin was around $350 billion. Today, that capitalization is closer to $700 billion. In episode three, we highlighted a non-exhaustive list of the disadvantages of Bitcoin, which are similar to other cryptocurrencies who share the same disadvantages. And in episode four, we highlighted that former White House communications director and founder and co-owner of hedge fund Skybridge Capital, Mr. Scaramucci, had launched a brand new Bitcoin fund and the reasons for doing so. In episode five, we looked at the intrinsic value of gold and silver compared with the intrinsic value of Bitcoin. And in six, we looked at a number of YouTube and Google influencers who've used Bitcoin's rise as both clickbait and an investment opportunity. In episode seven, we looked at some of the commentary which followed a dramatic $11,000 fall in the price of Bitcoin, and yet support from some quarters stating that this was an expected and temporary pullback. In episode eight, the last episode we produced, we discussed with Bitcoin's price falling to as low as $28,785, compared with a p that recent peak of 41,113, we asked if Bitcoin has now had its day. We also looked at how the shortage of microchips affected the ability to mine more Bitcoin, and eventually concluded that the Bitcoin RAM page is still likely to continue, and that it is not just a short-term fad. Now, we're producing this video in the early hours of Friday morning. In fact, it's 1.15 a.m. GMT, to be precise, fully acknowledging that the video won't be published until probably midday, so in about 11 hours or so time. And so some prices may change, probably guaranteed to change, by the time you listen to this. But currently, for reference at least, the Bitcoin price is $37,210, up some $6,000 on the week. And so it certainly does look like there's more mileage for this cryptocurrency to go. So getting back to the topic for today, with the recent short squeeze type attacks on the likes of GameStop and more recently Silver, we asked the question, could Bitcoin be next. We saw an interesting article published in Yahoo Finance just a couple of days ago, which has something interesting to say on this matter. So we'll just take a quick look. It's not very long. Yahoo Finance article dated Tuesday, February the 2nd, 2021. Headline, Can Bitcoin be the next GameStop? The word on the street. The Reddit retail investor crowd that pushed up stocks of GameStop Corp, AMC Entertainment Holdings Inc, and others 
could next set their sights on the world's largest cryptocurrency by market cap, Bitcoin. The apex cryptocurrency has remained largely muted and has failed to hitch a ride on the retail rocket that has lifted other cryptocurrencies such as XRP and Dogecoin. The so-called digital gold has been lacklustre even in comparison with silver which peaked to new highs over Monday. The lack of movement in Bitcoin is despite the fact that Tesla Inc. CEO Elon Musk expressed support for the coin on Monday. Previously, Musk's utterances has sent Doge and BTC soaring, the former skyrocketing an impressive 800%. Musk's previous utterances have not gone unnoticed on Wall Street bets. There are parallels between the GameStop saga and Bitcoin, according to CNBC. Data from the block crypto indicates that hedge funds are short on the Apex coin by over $1 billion. The shorting picked up speed around October last year, which coincides with the uptick in Bitcoin price. The cryptocurrency reached its all-time high of $41,941 on January 8th. At the same time, Retail interest in cryptocurrencies has remained strong, with Robinhood having to shut off some cryptocurrency trading features as Doge soared. The brokerage also restricted buying of GameStop and other shares amid the retail frenzy. Wall Street bets have spurred conversation among Bitcoin enthusiasts of a similar short squeeze rally in the cryptocurrency. If you don't own Bitcoin right now, your position is long US dollar shitcoin and short Bitcoin. Think about that for a moment. Bitcoin Archive, which claims to track the cryptocurrency as it proves every prediction of doom wrong, tweeted that while GameStop squeezed hedge funds, Bitcoin is squeezing central banks. The short squeeze on GameStop is exactly what's coming to Bitcoin. Almost $500 million of BTC was moved off Coinbase last night. These big movements tend to happen just before massive price movements. Bitcoin traded 0.81% higher at 33914 at press time. Grayscale Bitcoin Trust closed 2.13% lower at $33.95 on Monday. The recent volatility in the price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies like Doge and XRP should act as a caution to investors. The rallies in both the cryptocurrencies were short-lived. The ride on the pump and dump roller coaster is perilous and investors should be wary of timing the market. Now this article is further confirmed by one produced on the Motley Fool site same day, which we felt frankly explained the situation a little better. So let's take a look at that one. Motley Fool article dated February the 2nd, Bitcoin, the next Reddit short squeeze. Users of social media messaging board suddenly emerged as a market moving force last week. Reddit users have been deploying a clever tactic to push individual stocks to record highs. Now their new target could be the world's most popular digital asset, Bitcoin. Even if you're uninterested in the Reddit short squeeze saga or the rise of Bitcoin, here's what you need to know about this emerging trend that's reshaping the financial sector. Reddit short squeezes. Retail investors have been working together to target specific stocks that are heavily shorted by institutional investors. This strategy, known as a short squeeze, has the potential to drive stocks up with breathtaking velocity. This is why stocks like BlackBerry jumped as much as 40% on a single day last week. With over 7 million members, Reddit's investor messaging boards collectively have as much capital and power 
as any mid-sized hedge fund. Needless to say, this is a force to reckon with if you're an investor. The Reddit Army's strategy hinges on one key metric, short interest. The more heavily shorted a stock, the higher the chances of a successful short squeeze that unlocks value for Reddit investors. It now looks like hedge funds and institutional investors are shorting Bitcoin. Data from cryptocurrency news publisher The Block indicates that hedge funds and institutions have collectively bet 1 billion US dollars against Bitcoin. As the price of Bitcoin rises, short interest seems to be increasing. This means the cryptocurrency could become an ideal short squeeze target for Reddit users. Reddit users have another reason to target Bitcoin – decentralization. Last week, major stock trading platforms such as Robinhood prevented users from buying these so-called meme stocks on Reddit's radar. This intervention cost many Reddit users millions in lost value. In other words, the rules of the game were changed by the gatekeepers just as retail investors were winning. Bitcoin, however, cannot be restricted like this. It's a global decentralized network that can be bought and sold without the need for gatekeepers. That enhances its appeal as a Reddit short squeeze long hold target. Canadian investors can buy Bitcoin directly on trading platforms like Wealthsimple. However, there are plenty of other options for investors who do not want direct exposure to Bitcoin. The Bitcoin fund is probably the best proxy for retail investors. This exchange traded fund trades on the Toronto Stock Exchange like any other regular stock. Each unit of the ETF represents 0.001116 Bitcoin. So when the price of Bitcoin rises, this ETF should track that performance. Why is the ETF better than holding Bitcoin directly? Well, for one, the ETF is regulated by Canadian financial authorities. This means you have an added layer of safety with your investment. The ETF also qualifies for your tax-free savings account. That's probably a better reason to buy the ETF instead of Bitcoin directly. Bottom line. Reddit users could target Bitcoin as hedge funds ramp up short bets against the cryptocurrency. Keep an eye on the Bitcoin fund. Both of these articles are very interesting. Now, we do not doubt the buying power of this exclusive Reddit club. But we seriously wonder, though, if it truly can have a significant impact on Bitcoin prices. We saw to some extent the limited impact it had on silver, really no more than a $5 price rise, though admittedly commodities are a slightly different prospect. And $5 in a day is impressive in itself, but nothing like that encountered with GameStop or some of the other smaller cryptos or equities that the Reddit crowd have targeted previously. We have to bear in mind, though, that Bitcoin's capitalization currently is around 10 times that of, tr of what we have termed tradable silver. And these shall, we call them anti-establishment investors, would have to come up with quite a sizable investment individually to move the Bitcoin market. Is it possible? Of course it is. But do they have enough capital to move Bitcoin prices in any discernible way? We're less sure. Of course, there may be a short-term initial move upwards, perhaps even on the announcement that this Reddit group were going to target Bitcoin. But we would be surprised if the amount could be significant enough to see any rise greater than perhaps we already encounter in a typical Bitcoin day. Now that said, if a million of its seven or eight million members invest, then that should do the trick. But we have our doubts on this one, whether they can get enough to do that, but who knows. And we suspect, though, that much smaller cryptos are likely to be better affected and would make more sense. What do you think? By all means, disagree with us. We're not crypto experts, but we have our doubts. Share your thoughts. Meanwhile, thank you so much for listening. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. Not forgetting to press the bell sign 
so you're notified of our videos as and when they are published. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative and if so please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. Thank <laughs> you.